Hey guys, so today I thought I'd share with you how I make my own um, acetone pads for removing fingernail polish or removing um, acrylic nails. Um, there's lots of different ways you could probably do this. This is just the way I do it. So I just thought I'd share with you guys real quick. So the only thing you're going to need is you're going to need an airtight jar. Um, I'm using an old candle jar. All I did was clean it out. Um, I washed it good with soap and water, let it air dry so there's no moisture in there. And what it was is it was just one of these little candles. Um, you can get it at the dollar store or whichever store. So all I did was clean that out really well. And then so I have this jar and it's airtight because it has this plastic piece here. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to need some lint-free gauze or lint wipes, um, cotton wipes. So I have these cotton ones. Usually the ones that I use are these square um, gauze pads. I'm almost out of these, so I'm not going to be using them this time. Um, usually I buy these at my medical supply store, really dirt cheap. You can get like 500 of them for like $3 there um, instead of ordering them online. Um, I just haven't been to that store because I don't usually go to it. So for this one, what I'm going to be using is these, and I just picked these up at Sally's. They're the premium round cotton rounds, and then they're the lint-free ones. So just make sure that it says lint-free. You can do this with cotton balls too. Um, it just doesn't work as well, in my opinion, or it uses more product, I guess is what I mean. And then you're just going to need 100% pure acetone, and I'm just using um, Beauty Secrets acetone, which looks like this. And I bought the, I bought a 32 ounces for like five bucks, six bucks, something like that. Anyway, so all you're going to do is you're going to take your rounds like that and you're just going to take them and I cut mine in half, but you don't have to. And you're just going to make sure that your rounds are roughly about the same size as the bottom of that so that they can fit in there. So you're just going to take them and you're just going to cut them in half or fourths if you want. Um, for me, halves works pretty good. So you're just going to take those and you're just going to smash them into your jar trying to keep them as flat as you can. So you're going to go ahead and put those in. So when, once you have the acetone in, all you're going to do is pull one out and then remove your fingernail polish. Um, so what I do is I fill it to the top and then you're going to pour in some of your acetone. Now you're not trying to completely saturate it. You're not going to completely have it soaked. You just want it so that there's enough liquid and I would say maybe to right here is all you need because it's going to suck up that acetone all the way to the top and then you're just going to cover it and you just pull it out when you need it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour this in and I'm going to try to do this without making a mess. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. So I'm going to pour it up here so I'm just going to pour that in and you're just going to keep going until you notice that they're wet. So right now only the top ones are wet. And then I just added a little bit more and so you still, you see that there's no moisture on the bottom yet so I'm just going to keep going. And now those are really saturated. So what you're going to do is you're just going to replace this and then every time you pull it out or you open this they're still going to be really wet and moist in there. Um, if the top ones start to dry out all you need to do is take your finger or whatever and kind of push it down and you can see the liquid in there if I push it out so those are good and saturated. It's just that they've sucked up that moisture now. And that way when you're in a hurry and you want to remove something you can just pull that out and remove it real quick. I hope that tip helps you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching.